Good morning, folks. Nice plasma filament activity on the northwestern limb. Today we've got a number of updates and a special video coming tonight. Let's get started with our star at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last day on the sun mostly quiet. The incoming northern active region released the only solar event of note and you can see the pop releasing from the bright area up there as it turns in. Small aimed away from Earth, but that's why we're watching that active region. The low KP cosmic ray concern ended quickly yesterday as even with dropping plasma speed in the solar wind, the density and magnetism of the stream brought us back up off the floor. Top quake of the last day struck Nicaragua. The west coast of the Americas has been extra quiet all year. Luckily, this one was mostly felt offshore. Let's start the articles with an aesthetic of free-floating evaporating gaseous globules, or FREGS for short. They remain dark until illuminated by stellar ignition and reflecting ambient light. Beautiful, ghostly sights in space. Up next, folks, it's the same story as always with the climate report. The U.S. report for October is out, and the ones that matter here are top right and bottom left. Top right is the daily maximum charts, bottom left is how low it gets at night. Global warming is there, at night. Those nighttime lows, bottom left, carry the widest and deepest red signatures while the maximum daily highs, top right, show much more blue and fainter heat signatures. Excellent story up next on how baby stars learn to do what the big stars do, accretion, boom. Here, it's baby burps from young stars with debris disks, and they say the outbursting provides the mass and energy to create a fantastic amount of the chemistry eventually found around the star when it's older. Of course, what observers take note of is the fact that accretion boom scenarios work at any age of a star. Up next, folks, we're off to an interesting story that continues driving home the Atlantic global safety mechanisms. The crash is known as the mid-Pleistocene transition. When ice ages began happening less frequently, but with much greater gusto and cold. The North Atlantic, just as today, played an enormous role in this, including its deviation from the rest of the basin, not unlike how the North Atlantic right now has the cold blob, also known as the global warming hole. This North Atlantic signal is one of the signs of the continuing paradigm of utmost importance. When you melt the polar ice, you risk a major cold snap across the world. Last but not least, Tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, we'll release part two of Sun Control's Climate. The first one came out about a week ago and focused on the upper atmosphere. Tonight, we begin sneaking down towards the surface with major climate cycles, again, driven by the sun. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.